A couple of days ago, I was talking to you guys about Luka Doncic being underestimated from US media. Well, now they are going after Kyrie. All of a sudden, right? No, the timing was just perfect. Luka Doncic and Kyrie Irving stepped together on the floor yesterday against the Brooklyn Nets and the Dallas Mavericks won that game. And now, Shaq comments are here, like Luka and Kyrie doesn't fit together. Well, he might be right. Let's check out the Shaq comment about that, but before that, if you're new here, make sure you like this video, comment down below, and if you're newer, of course, please subscribe for more analyses like that. Scotty was going to fill it, you know, Kobe was going to do what he do, he threw it in the shack, like, we fed off each other, these two guys, in my opinion, they're the same player, they need the ball, 9, 10, 11 seconds, you're between your leg, and to, you know, uh, uh, go off what Jamal said, your turn or my turn, I don't think you're going to win like that, you know, one of those guys, you know, I don't think they want to, is going to have to learn how to play without the ball, and the catch, do something, but you have two guys that are doing the same thing, you know, like when... Uh, LeBron joined joint forces with the D-Ways. They are the same guy. The D-Ways says, you know what? Bron, you be Bron, and I'll play at the ball. And then, you know, because remember, the first nine games, you know, the, the this ain't going to work. Fire spoke to do it. Right. But once D-Ways said, you know what, Bron, you have the ball, I'll be Pippen, that's when they started winning. So in my opinion, these two guys are the same, and I don't think it's going to work. So yeah, I can see where Shaq is going with his comments. He, he, he's right. How, how could he be? I mean, they played together very, very few games and uh, a lot of them were even losses. Last year, the Dallas Mavericks didn't saw the conference finals. What, 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 what I'm talking about? They, they didn't saw even the playoffs, of course. So he's, he's got a point here. But anyway, last game versus the Brooklyn Nets showed that these two guys can cooperate together. Of course they can. They are superstars of the league. The game that showed the appearance of those two together on the floor for like approximately 30 minutes or so, that seems really good and that went really well. They both scored more than 35 points. Luka gained even 18 boards, something like that. But most importantly, the most important vote, the Dallas Mavericks won that game. And this is the key for the future. Because let's be real here, the Dallas needs all the games all the wins. Now. Not tomorrow. Now. Well, there was some other stuff that I would like to point out. The ball wasn't just concentrated in one hand, in one player single hand. Luca and Kyrie connected on the floor. And guess what? Other players had something to do with it also. They made a few passes. And also, there were some great actions. Did you see the Kyrie Irving Eliop? Take a look at that. Yeah, from essentially one game. And what happened? Uh, look out oh. here! Kyrie! Hits on Doncic. He gets it to Josh Green at the free throw line. He just puts it up there. <laughs> Elevating and detonating off to Josh Green. Are you right? Don't play like this when you were on the desk. Why, Kai? Oh, come on. Before the game, Luka Doncic was questionable. Why is that? Take a look what happened just yesterday. I talked to him before the game and he said, yeah, I have to wear this face mask. And you could tell us a little bit. There are going some nose problems, I guess, in the Dallas. Of course, you know, the Derek Lavely is missing some games right now due to nose injury. He's having a small uh, operation also, but he'll be fine. He'll be back quick. Anyway, Luca was playing uh, first couple of minutes with his mask on. Did you see that? The face mask? <laughs> it was really something special. Take a look at that. The starting five. Will Spencer did what he shake the hand. The spin on Thomas. Step back three. Bottom. That's with two guys on him, Ryan. <laughs> it bothered him so much that after playing a couple of minutes in the first quarter, he did not wear it anymore. And anyway, he scored like 35 points, 18 rebounds, 9 assists. It doesn't matter at the end. 
the win is all that matters. As I was saying, there were quite a few special occasions on that game. Finney Smith was not playing in today's game, but Dennis Smith Jr. were. They are both good friends with Luka Doncic and some other members of the Dallas Mavericks. Of course, they play together. But what sticks out for me most importantly and most of all the team chemistry. After going two games in a row with the win right now at Madison Square Garden against the Jalen Brunson of course. Let's hope for another win because let's face it the shuttle is not going to get any user and there are like 30 more games left in the NBA regular season left and they are very important. Right now the Dallas Mavericks are facing the play-in tournament. This is not something they would want before starting this season. So, as I was saying and I'm mentioning once again, it's really important to win as much game as you can. Before I'm going to spend too much of your time, let's go through some action that could be called foul on Luka Doncic. But of course they were not. And you're guessing, why is he talking so much with the refs? Why is he getting so much nervous from them? Well, take a look at this special occasion and then talk. Is they need to defend. They need to defend. Doncic playing without the flying pressure full court. Doncic handles it. And Doncic banks it in. It's not going to count. He side that it was on the floor. That's where the foul, yeah, that should have counted. And that's the point that, right now. Yeah, I, they're going to say it was before he started to gather. So now, tell me, honestly, wouldn't you be frustrated too? <laughs> I bet you would. Anyway, please comment down below. What do you think about the last game? What do you think about last games of the Dallas Mavericks? What do you think about Shaq comments? What do you think about the Luka Kyrie connection? What do you think about other Dallas Mavericks roster and if we are going to get eventually some reinforcements, you know, the trade deadline is here. Anyway, thank you for sticking up with me. If you're new here, please make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Make sure you like and comment this video also. Till next time, Gregor was with you from Greg's Court. Bye.